Oh, hello there again. Star Sector. Yeah, the new patch 0.96a has been out for quite some time. But wait a second, I lied. And I'm trying to be more composed and not overreact. I wanted to say I'm playing the newest Star Sector patch that was newest the day ago. Because today when I'm finishing this video and I'm most of the way there, a new patch 0.97a just came out. And now what am I supposed to do? I'm gonna release it of course anyway, but suck it. This is supposed to be a 0.96a still. But somebody decided to release it as 0.97 anyway. This is still relevant. Not like I prepared more than a dozen hours of footage for this video. Doesn't bother me at all. We looked at the patch notes months ago. Oh, nearly a year ago. Mm. Which is also beneficial as multiple changes happened during that time. Some stuff was buffed and some was nerfed or reverted back to original state. And this update with all of the changes with the new ships, new weapons, buffs, nerfs and actually some significant nerfs. And stuff like Esmods changing. And these changes will definitely impact how you play the game. Or at least they definitely did impact my gameplay. Let's see how it went. Today we are playing Vanilla. Because you know, I played so much modded that now I actually don't know what is Vanilla and what is not. This will give me a great idea what is the state of the game right now. I only installed two utility mods. Console commands and speed up. Bob will aid us on this journey. And also for the first time I have chosen Old Sector Age. Let's see how many habitable planets we can get. Spoiler, I found one full system with like four or five habitable worlds, I think. Okay, let's hop into the game. Hammerhead start. First battle commences and the first gigantic change right away. See this? It flashed your eyes out. Now they are bleeding. If you remember in my old days, you have to change the settings inside the folder. Now they're actually in the in-game settings. We will just turn it off. Now your eyes can rest easy. We defeated our first enemy and it wouldn't be a Uran. Uran, ura. And it wouldn't be an Uran video if I wouldn't give you a tips. And let's see if my strategies still work because a lot has changed. But this one should be still fine. In the early game I like to make money using bounty systems. Usually it is of course hunting down pirates for some nice reward at the end. It is especially helpful because these rewards are substantial at the beginning. And also you level up quite fast destroying these enemy fleets. You increase the relations, you can scavenge the loot. And as I'm a bit rusty I can gain my skill back this way. And also you get the fun exciting gameplay from the very first go and you get to try the smaller ships. Let's level up some of these skills to next be surprised by the amount of black holes in this sector. Maybe it has to do something with the old age of the sector, who knows. Let's also find some poor pirate smugglers. If we destroy them, yeah their planet won't be having so much fun. Unlucky for them, yeah I want the money at the XP and so on. So I'm sorry pirate children. Another day without food. And now after we hunted down some small pirate fleets for some money and XP, we also found a man in a bar that would sell us for 5000 credits. A location for Dragonfire DM torpedo blueprint. I think that's a new missile. Oh yes indeed, I was correct. This is the new stuff. But it will take a bit more time before we get there. By the way, press S. Do not get hit by the storm. Also an option to promote our first officer. Why am I showing you this? Because I forgot this was even added to the game. I pay so much for it. Yeah, I forgot. Long time no play, I guess. Oh boy. That was a mistake. Oh, did ya? Of course, being overconfident doesn't pay always. You get into quite dangerous situations. Oh boy, that's a lot of the oh boy. While we battle this nearly unavoidable battle, let me show you a new thing that was added as well. When you press 11 and want to make it more cinematic. Apparently, these things should have gone away. But they didn't. What is happening, Alex? One year before. This is a huge change for me. Now, when you press F11, you still see those things. From the patch onwards, prepare for more cinematic scenes. As huh? Look at this. I feel absolutely scammed. It isn't working. It's still there. Do you see it? No more cinematic moments. But whoa, this might be new. I selected the missiles, and as I'm out of them, no more lines are showing up. Was it always like this? And now I will fire the last missiles, and no longer I see the lines. I got still scammed by the F11 though. Okay, to be honest, looking back, fleet circles doesn't sound like weapon circles. To be honest, it could be added in the next patch. Of course, after all the pirate hunting, we decided to increase our fleet power. And my choice was Mandicore. One of my new favorite chips, well, from the last patch. 
but still kinda new. And this patch new missile got added. And later it was buffed. Connect with the Manticore with it. And the newest thing in this patch is also that if you embed it with S mod, and if it's a previously very good mod, you will get some penalties. You will have to get strategic with this. Okay, and now let's equip it. You know, with Manticore you have to be Giga Charged, so you will put on it the biggest Taka you have. A Mjolnir. Maybe an overkill, but I don't mind. And also the new missiles. Mwah! And rocket barrage. Oh, this thing is so over the top. Bim, bim, bim. <laughs> I like the new rocket. <laughs> now, when you earn some money and your feet got bigger, it's time to explore this sector. Your goal is simple get a bunch of loot and, of course, find your first planet that you will colonize. Best way is that it's close to the core systems. And, of course, you can find some crazy thing as well. For example, a few patches ago, it was added that you could find some beefed up officers like this one. Of course, you will find a lot of loot. And you will fight a lot of battles until you get back to the inner sector victorious. Sell that stuff and from that money, next phase of your earning potential comes in. That means buying all the buffaloes you can find. Because you are changing the game from fighting and exploring simulator to economy simulator. You will buy stuff cheap and sell it for really high prices and now imagine you will do it for multiple hours and now you are a millionaire no but really you will go just from one place to another buying selling buying selling sometimes you will explore and then buying selling buying selling sounds kind of boring but it actually isn't because it's pretty satisfying to sell at such a high prices stuff will still happen like this one i have no idea what happened what the hell how does it work how? How am I so fast? Is it the speed up? Yeah, I don't know if it is a normal game thing or the speed up mod. But is I recommend using speed up all the time? This is interesting occurrence. And to be honest, Ludov happened throughout these hours. We bought ourselves a new ship, Eradicator. Although it could nerf this patch, still awesome ship. This is actually a bit surprising, I don't mind it that much because for Apog or our Apoge or Apogee, a bit more and I don't know why. Maybe because one more nerf happened. Hurricane was nerfed. Once again, why am I so upset? Because as I said in the patch video, our favorite hurricane large missile again nerfed. And mind you, it was already nerfed beforehand. It was nerfed from 11 to 9. Now from 9 to 7. Damn, it's nearly 40%. But exactly 40%. That's that's like half of its effectiveness is gone. That's why I feel sad for my Apogee, as the hurricane was super awesome on it. Oh, now it's time to find another large missiles. There was one more exciting ship we bought, and that was the Eagle. Because damn, this thing got ridiculously buffed this patch. So much so that it got nerfed right away. But at least they gave it back that speed. If you equip it right, even something like Gravitor Beam got buffed. And now I overall really enjoyed this ship, so it was a pleasure to play with it. And as I promised, our exploration was also fruitful. We found a system with four habitable planets. Uh, at first I was super excited, but, but at the end they still had bit too much of a hazard rating. And also, from the point where they added new industry items like these ones, yeah, you want a variety of planets, not only habitable ones, but still pretty awesome. And when we are talking about finding and exploring stuff, a huge thing was added. A hyperspace topography. Basically, when you explore this sector, you will gain some points. Scanning as giants, scanning weird things, going fast through space. Anything like this will gain you points. And of course, the next step is to establish our first colonies. With also new changes. Before we get to that, at this point, we are already pretty high level. And our colonies are starting to make money. As I said, my hyperspace topography is nearly maxed out. But we also have a hostile activity. Which fills up throughout the time. With exciting events along the way as I haven't played with this that much yet I only noticed one thing previous patch I noticed that everybody would go after me really fast and now it happened more slowly and as our colonies were growing it was time for a new ship to defend them we bought ourselves the retribution glass three large ballistics four medium ballistics and everything pointed at the right direction in front of you and only 35 supplies per month with the ability which makes you go really fast this ship Seems awesome. And now to be honest, the very first time I played with this ship and I got it, I suffered a lot. I mean, I did not enjoy this ship. I couldn't play with it right. And I realized very soon why was it. Because it has this embedded mod. Uh, and you might ask, what? Why? This mod is great. It reduces the EMP damage this ship takes. And also the weapons take less damage. The bad thing about this, it doesn't allow you to put something like integrated targeting unit on this ship. Which makes the range of the weapons quite small. And here's why I had a problem with the ship. Because I thought, okay, 
No more range, so I will use short range weapons. But I got crushed. Until I found a better build. This is the build I'm using currently. I know it's not perfect yet, but this made it so much more fun. And this thing rightly equipped is kinda crazy. Because it has a very good firepower. And not only that, but that F ability is on a super short cooldown. Which makes the ships absurdly mobile. And maybe even I think it might get nerfed. Like, it is not that easy to use. But the mobility, that makes this thing really good. But then again, this might be because this ship is new and exciting. And maybe you can ask, why just not get the onslaught? It's just 5 points more expensive. And it definitely has more firepower and... That's chunkiness and dunkiness. And I didn't even bother because of this buying my conquest. But that again, it might be because they nerfed the hurricane missiles. Uh. You know what is the best thing also? That I'm not using that much skills. Now behold, my third face trying to make the video in another country wasn't working so well. And as the new patch just came out, and yeah, basically the safe hall isn't up to date anymore. It's time to start over. But you know what? I will see you in the next update. Take care.